So one of the really, really neat things that I've uh, found um, in, you know, using the internet um, a while back is this uh, movie credit uh, type and font that you can use to uh, help complete your uh, movie poster design. Um, keep in mind before I even show you that, that uh, in the character menu, you can uh, you know, double click the T here and you have other settings down here that you can take advantage of in addition to uh, you know just the standard type there's underline there's a uh, even line through text so there's there's a lot of different uh, uh, elements in here that you can uh, definitely uh, you know, use to kind of build out your typography even further anytime you double click this T you can also click the swatch and change its color whatever you want then click the uh, selection tool and it changes that color so just keep that in mind moving forward whatever uh, you choose to do me I mean I just personally left it white because it kind of went with the uh, the idea of the uh, all the colors that are going on here in the theme so I just left the uh, text the way, the way I thought it looked best so alright the movie credit block so I'm gonna go to file open and I'm gonna go to uh, what's called the movie poster credit block. I'll be uploading this to the class, so I'm going to double click this. And here it is. So this thing works just like uh, a regular Photoshop document and it's uh, fully vectored. Now, the only thing you need to keep in mind is, I'm going to just minimize this real quick, is installing fonts. So if you look at my screen here, what I've done is I've tracked it down on my computer for PC. You go to control panel, uh, you want to go to personal uh, appearance and personalization and open up the fonts and then in there you want to take the two steel tongs files okay and you can uh, you can do one or two things if you want to um, once you download them you can right click after you select them right click and go to copy and then in here just right click and you can paste or you can I mean if you want to keep them for good just select them both and then click and drag and drop them in that folder okay um, this is for PC. The uh, the Mac uh, installing of fonts is uh, basically the easiest method to do is in Mac. Go to the little uh, you know search. It looks like an icon like this in the upper right corner. Uh, click that. Type in fonts. The fonts will will appear, and then uh, drop these fonts in there. That's uh, the best way to do it on Mac. So keep all that in mind. Okay. So the fonts need to be installed before you even open up the file called moviepostercreditblock.psd. So once uh, once the fonts are installed, you open this up, they'll all come over, and uh, you can edit it. So I'm going to double click the T in the layer for credits, and this is a little tricky. Um, what you'll uh, what you'll do is uh, once you do that, you select all of it, but then you can click your cursor here, just like the other text we we're just learning, and you can change all these uh, names. So studio name pictures if you want to select all that area and uh, I don't know you want to maybe call it uh, let's delete this use a delete key uh, uh, John pictures now when I typed in some of the type notice that the uh, the presents a and a film by up here so I'm going to backspace real quick what you have to do is um, when you type you have to hold shift and then type in the uh, information. So if I wanted this to be called John Pictures, it's John Pictures, and then you have to hold Shift to get that information in. So it's a little tricky. Producers, I could uh, select this, use Delete to Delete, hold Shift, I could say my name, very cool, and then so forth and so forth. So once this is all knocked out, I'm going to click and, and drag the little tab out and float it in the middle of the screen, and I'm then going to take this layer. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag and drop it into uh, the movie poster. So I can close this out now and just say no. To give it some more space, I'll, I'll double click, select, and I'm just going to boost up the uh, point size here. So let me go to like uh, something that's appropriate. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is uh, when you are doing this, uh, you know, 
as far as uh, guides go, I'm going to go ahead and go to view and uh, rulers are being shown and I'm going to make sure that we are showing guides. Um, I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to go to uh, clear guides to knock out what we currently have and just start over. And I'm going to click with the selection tool to click and drag out the ruler. I'm going to measure in an eighth. If you're noticing, I'm bringing it over from the zero, one point, one click. So this gives me an idea of where my bleeds are, because remember how we typed in uh, 0.125? It's good to have these guides in there. Uh, some of them don't work. I'm going to have to turn the snapping off, and it helps. There we go. And in that way, you kind of get an idea of where that eighth is to not go so close. Okay? All right, so I got that done. Let's say I got my movie uh, title block here. And uh, we got the title up top. Let's move it down. Now, most commonly, when you see uh, movie posters, the actors' names uh, go up top. Okay? Okay, here we go, looking on this. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to find a really good one. We can see if we can, okay, here we go. So right here you can see that the uh, actor's names are up top right here. Um, and that's a good position, a good place to put those names. Um, they, you know, Movie posters, you know, they vary on the way they're designed, but uh, this one right here, there we go. Say, you got the actors' names up top. So find out who do you want for your uh, actors' names, and uh, like I said, that's a pretty good, good direction to take. Is putting all those famous names up there, and the title normally comes either in the, you know, definitely kind of the center, like the focal point with the supporting images built around it. See that title box there. So, all right. So with that said, let's do uh, names. I'm going to do uh, another title. So it's up here and we'll just say, uh, I haven't figured out who I want yet, so we'll do uh, So the last section that we're going to talk about are the ratings, and uh, I have a couple of EPS files, which are vector that you can uh, utilize for your movie projects. So I'm going to go to File Open, and under the Ratings folder, I've got a G and an R rated. Uh, I think I'll probably go with uh, an R rated here, and you can search for these through all, you know throughout the web. But remember, these are EPS, which are vectors, so they're high quality. And I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to simply take this uh, tab, float it, and then bring it on over. And I'm going to take this rating and take off this layer, drop it in. Close this out. And in here I will go ahead, I guess this is rated R, and uh, edit transform scale. And then click the apply and because it's an EPS no matter how big it scales this is entirely different from graphic images it's gonna maintain the quality because it's EPS so let me try that again and edit transform scale select apply edit transform scale I think we can go a little bit larger than that Yep. Oh, looks good. Ratings usually come down at the bottom. Let's 
bring my credits back up. I'm using the arrow keys, just selecting the layers. And you know, I think I want the credits to actually be in black, so I'm just going to select the first swatch here and go 0, 0, 0. Okay. Selection tool, yeah, looks a lot better. Okay, so I put in the final details on the movie poster. Um, down here, if we're looking at the uh, credit block, what I did is basically uh, updated it, including all the names of uh, my friends and family uh, within uh, the title block here. And then I also incorporated the, uh, the Sony Pictures uh, uh, company logo because I like Sony Pictures. And then I put the rated R restricted over here. And then I included the, uh, the website address too. For, uh, you know, just because uh, a lot of the movie posters you see, you see like the web address and content that you can go out to and uh, get information on the movie. But uh, I did that just through, two, you know, use of the typography and everything we've studied so far. Um, and the credit block again, when you get in there, if you want to, you know, do your uh, your type and such, hold shift when you're typing in the, uh, the names of the actors. And uh, if you have two, uh, two names together, if you want to, make sure you use like a, a dash. It's the minus key on your keyboard. A lot of times you'll see that. Here's the title. I put in like the main actor's name as it reflects what's up top. So if you go up on here, let's see, up top on the uh, on top of the uh, movie poster here, you'll notice I've got uh, the actor's names that I've included that I wanted in the uh, the top portion here. And you notice I got Russell Crowe, I got Nicholas Cage, and Elijah Wood up here that I uh, changed based on the actors through some uh, research. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually uh, take a uh, look at the Russell Crowe uh, name and I want to show you something real quick. If I move this around, notice that the uh, the guides come up, the snap guides, and they're allowing me to uh, understand exactly that these these titles are aligned. Um, another really good tool in Photoshop you can take advantage of is called the auto select tool. When this is turned on, anything that you click on inside the layout you can automatically select and move around. And that's a really great hotkey to uh, know about and uh, uh, tool in order to use to uh, you know, work, work, you know, work your layout into what you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you another thing real quick. So I got Russell Crowe kind of aligned over here. I got Elijah Wood aligned over there. Let's see. Those guides are snapping nicely. Um, I want to make sure I watch my guides. We created the eighth bleed around. Um, the most important part is uh, understand how to align things directly center. So if I grab the uh, Nicolas Cage uh, title, his name, I want to go to edit, and I'm going to go to transform, and I'm going to go to scale, and then I'm going to just use the arrow keys, and if, this is really neat because if you see the central point that's on that title, we know that we can align it directly to the center guide, okay? And that's really good. Now you know that that title is right down the center of the page. Uh, the main title of the movie, you know, it doesn't really matter because this one looks a little off-center based off hierarchy, but I've got it placed exactly kind of, uh, you know, the way I want it. Um, and then looking down here, I did the same for uh, the web address. So if I scroll down to the web address, let's look at it. So I uh, did the same. I, I have that layer now selected here. And if I go to Edit, Transform, Scale, you'll notice that again that central point of that scale box is right down the middle of that guide and that's exactly what we want. Um, looking at my actor, my character kind of at the center of uh, this image, see how they're a little bit off center from that central guide, so I'm going to go back to the character real quick and these two layers, I'm going to select the first one, hold shift, select the other and I'm just going to use the arrow keys just to kind of move my character where they're centered more with the, uh, the image of the house. And I'm pretty satisfied with that now. All right, so I'm going to go to File and, and save my work real quick and just be sure we don't lose anything that we've been working on thus far. Make sure we got everything up to speed. Keep in mind that you can uh, go to my LinkedIn page at LinkedIn.com if you would like to uh, link up with me and uh, have me as a uh, resource and a reference in your uh, list of contacts. You can uh, send me a message at my LinkedIn, and uh, I will reach out to my Yahoo email, uh, hence my uh, Gmail accounts, and uh, I can always be there to help you. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, look forward to working with you.